What's going on, my dudes? Welcome to the channel. I'm Quitty Bags, and today, my dudes, I'm going to teach you how to back up your Minecraft bedrock worlds so you never lose your world again. So let's get started. All right, here we are, my dudes, on Minecraft Windows Edition slash Bedrock Edition on PC. So we're going to hit play. Now, this is my big old world, and I really, really want to back it up so that way I don't ever lose it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the edit part. We're gonna go to edit. Now this might work on uh, Xbox, PlayStation. I'm not really sure because I don't play on them, but I think it's about the same. So what we can do here, you probably just can't export it. You probably have to do the first method. I'll show you, I'll show you the first method. So the first method you can do after you're done every play session would be copy your world. Hit copy and boom bada bing, you've got a copy of your big old world. That is the easiest way to do it and that will probably work on both console and of course PC because it just worked. Now the other method is if you want to share your world or in general just back it up, we can also click export world. Once you click export world, you can name it. My big old world, we can put it anywhere we want. I'm gonna put it on the desktop just so I can show you guys and then hit export. Boom bada bing, super easy. This is easier than the Java edition. And here we go, world export finished successfully. Now, if your world's a little bit bigger, you know, it might take a little bit longer to copy it or to export it. So once you've exported it, if you wanna go ahead and, you know, send it to your friends or post it online, then what we can do is find the file and it is right here, right on my desktop. And if you wanna actually play on that world, you can just double click it and it'll automatically open up Minecraft Bedrock Edition or Microsoft Edition right away. That way you can play on it. Now, as you guys can see, that was definitely super easy and I'm sure you guys will be able to figure it out. That way you guys don't ever lose your world. Just remember after every play session, go ahead and you know create a copy and then just delete it after if you don't need it. So that way you can keep your, you know, your save files a little cleaner and not so messy. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below if you need any help backing up your worlds. And if you need a Java Edition tutorial, there's actually one already on my channel. So thank you for watching, my dudes, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.